Hello everyone, Andre here from SignalWire, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to stream call audio out using Compatibility API. Why would you want to stream call audio? Well, you may want to store uh, your call audio locally on a server, so you may want to handle the call recording side on the server, or you may want to send call audio data as it's happening to a service like Assembly AI or DeepCram to do live transcriptions. Um, in this particular example, in this particular video, we're going to be storing uh, the audio file uh, in WAV format uh, locally, uh, but you can read our companion blog for an example of how to send the call audio up to DeepGram for live transcriptions. So in terms of streaming call audio out, uh, we're going to be following a very simple example. Imagine you have uh, your personal number, but you don't want to expose it publicly. So you have a publicly available number that you purchased with SignalWire, and then you want to call forward to your personal. So when a call comes in, you want, a call to go to, you want that call to go to your personal number, but at the same time, you want to stream the call to a server where you will then do something with that stream. So that's what we're going to be doing here. And I purchased a publicly a number that I will have publicly available. And I've configured it so that when a call comes in, it runs the streaming out uh, LAML bin uh, or XML bin. So let's go to the XML bin section. Here we have the bin that is associated with that number. And I can see the instructions that I will run anytime a call comes in. So first we start a stream and then we dial out. Uh, because stream runs asynchronously, these will actually run all at the same time. So uh, notice we start streaming both tracks. So both the inbound and outbound audio will be streamed and we define the URL where we want to stream to. In this case, this is just a tunnel to my local machine where I will run uh, a server and then I dial out to my personal phone number. So this is all that we need to do on the signal wire side. Let's look at uh, the code. And in here, I'm using uh, Node.js, but you can use your preferred programming language. You just need to start a WebSocket server. In this case, I'm listening on port 3000, and then I, knew, I listen for new connections. A new connection will happen whenever someone makes a call to my publicly available number, and I start streaming. So I will start a stream to this server, and that, that starts a new connection. After that, messages will start being sent over that connection. Let's check the type of messages that we can expect. We can get connected, start, media, or stop uh, messages. And in the server, uh, in our code, uh, we are handling those. So over this connection, when a message comes in, we check if the event type is connected, start, media, or stop, and we act accordingly. So let's go to media because this is the most important event. What we do is when, when uh, uh, we receive a media message, that means we're receiving actual audio. And then we need to figure out, is this the inbound audio? Is this outbound audio? And then do something with it. So we get the payload, and then we check if it's an inbound, uh, sample or an outbound sample, and then we store it appropriately. So up here, we created two arrays, and we use the, uh, these to store uh, inbound and outbound audio separately. Then once we receive the stop event, we know either the call stream just ended or the call ended. And now we are ready to create the, the WAV file using the inbound and outbound samples that we have been uh, gathering. Finally, after we uh, have used the WAV file uh, library to create the new WAV file, we can actually store it locally using uh, FS, and we name it uh, callsid.wav file. So here we replace the callsid uh, value, um, and we get this from SignalWire when we get the start message. So start message comes in, we store the callsid, and we use it later on to name our uh, file. So if I start a call right now, you will see on the right side of my terminal a call come in. Okay, so new connection initiated, a new call was connected, and then we receive the start message. In here we get the call set, and now I'm receiving media. Eventually I will get a stop message, and we know the call has ended, and we're creating the web file. If I check my folder here, I see this particular call set. 
So it's as simple as this. This is all that you need to do in order to stream call audio out and store the call audio in a WAV file locally. If you would like to learn how to uh, actually stream the call audio live to a service like Deepgram, check out our companion blog. Uh, if you love videos like this, subscribe for more SignalWire in seconds and follow us on social media. See ya. Mm -hmm.